Hi guys, good morning. So for this tour, join me as we do an out of town neighborhood walk. Let's do a little out of town. So we're going to Tagaytay. While I'm in Tagaytay, I'll show you some updates and kung bakit property hotspot ang Tagaytay ngayon, especially for property investors and property buyer. Let's go, impact na ako. Breakfast muna. gas station. Wala pala akong gas. So we are now in Eaton City. Ito yung property or land na hindi natuloy. You turn over ng Eaton and ginawa you know, nila ni refund nila sa buyers. So this is one of the controversial property in the sun. Saan hindi ako? Buto na ako. Gutom na ako. Buto na eh. Baon na ako. <laughs> okay, traffic. Nasa stoplight. So, pwede ko mahal. Now, in Greenfield District. In Laguna. So, this is where Trava is. Ramana Salen. Greenfield South Ito gusto gusto ko talaga itong subdivision Rama And we are here in Noval Bababa sana ako guys para itour kayo kaya lang gabi na rin eh uh, baka abutan ako ng dilim late na. So, I have to be in Tagaytay before sunset. So, kasi may gagawin ako doon. Okay, entering Tagaytay proper. It's very traffic. Ito lang yung ayoko sa Tagaytay. Medyo makitid yung roads niya. So, it's really causing traffic. So, if you live in Tagaytay, or if you want a place in Tagaytay, medyo strategic yung facing ng time mo. Yung lalabas ka sa oras na walang traffic or lalabas ka sa oras na walang masyadong tourists kasi maraming day trips dito sa Tagaytay. But, pero for me, titira ako dito sa South. Mas gusto ko dun sa baba. Yung dinanin natin kanina, the Eton, Greenfield, New Valley area. No, kasi medyo touristy dito sa Tagaytay. Malamig lang siya. Pero mas may commercial aspect or parang city yung sa baba. Eh, parang siyang comparable sa US cities. Parang, parang gano'n yung style sa baba. Dito kasi medyo province na. And then, maganda lang yung view. <laughs> Di ba? Pero of course, it depends on your purpose naman. Kasi if retirement ka naman, hindi mo naman talaga kailangan mag-stay sa baba. Kala. Yes, I'm here. Good afternoon. Yes. 
So hi guys, finally I'm here after that traffic and so let's see my room. So finally, after three hours, we're here in the gate time. Sobrang traffic. So I just checked in, but I'll give you a quick tour of the room. Just in case you want to go here as well. So this is the toilet and shower. Then I, I like this mirror. Talagang full size talaga siya. And then I think all their rooms have standard queen size bed and a single bed for families. And then, yeah. then we have a balcony here. Then outside you can already see the view of Taal, but then it's raining, so what? So I just had my shower. Medyo madilim yung room. So medyo challenging yung vlogging. I think I'm just gonna have uh, in-room dining for dinner. And then I'm gonna rest na. I'm here for work kasi. So I have a meeting tomorrow. So, but I, I'm going around the properties as well. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Morning from Pekaitan. Look at this week. Hi, morning. Ito, chicken chow mein at saka mushroom mein asparagus. Thank you. More about that. First. Behind me is the popular Taal Volcano. So, it's a nice weather today, unlike yesterday. I'm still in the premises of the hotel. Yeah, and I'm having a relaxing day here in Tagaytay. So, I'm on my way back to Manila. Pero sobrang traffic. So, Dito ako sa Cavite pinadaan, Imus Dasmo. So I don't usually go in this area, pero na kasi ko grabe yung developments dito sa area which is causing a lot of traffic. Traffic na. So this is an actual example nung sinasabi ko na when you create a Metro Manila outside Metro Manila, you just replicate the problem. So parang din na-duplicate mo lang din yung problems. Look. So, ayun guys, after 3 hours, I am still in Cavite. So, drive through muna ako because I'm really hungry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, Hi guys, it's been I think 6 hours and 30 minutes from Tagaytay with no stopover except in drive through and I'm still on the road. Grabe no. And it's as traffic lang dito sa Manila as well and it's December 23 already pero ganito pa rin. No. So, grabe talaga. I think it's 1.5 around 1 hour and 30 minutes pa before makabalik ako sa condo. So, that's a total of around 8 hours or 8 hours 30 minutes from Tagaytay to Manila. This is record breaking. So it means there is something wrong with regards to probably the improvements of the developments 
or the management of the public roads or um kailangan talaga ng improvement ng infrastructure that's why asset management is a very important role in real estate now because there's no use eh, of building so much infrastructure or of building so much development if you cannot progress or if it will just cause more traffic no? so yeah a bit tired na pero kaya kaya pa. So hi guys, good morning. Sorry ni na pag vlog kagabi because tag pass out na pag week because it was seven hours and thirty minutes from Tagaytay to Manila. So that's one of my longest drive. Uh, thank you for joining me in that road trip. Sorry, I was not able to go out of the hotel and tour you around sa mga properties na nire-recommend namin because nga of logistics, because malakas yung ulan and then madilim na rin. Maga nagdidilim because December and also sobrang traffic. I guess I'll just go back to Tagaytay again and show you yung mga properties na good buys at saka nire-recommend namin and good land investments in Tagaytay. No, or especially if you use it for retirement or a BNB home or a small business no na may transition yung mga yun. So that's it for now. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Click that bell button so you will be notified for new videos. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, this is Richard C, your real property expert, and I'll see you next time. Bye.